Top five rap website, Kilo Kish, Moth EP, album review, stands at six songs total. Three of the six songs are calm and more vibey uh, due to their abrasive bass and those higher, faster BPMs. San Pedro, track number one. You know, shout out to the 405 San Pedro exit, you know. I do frequent that area. Uh, and said San Pedro opens Moth uh, with the video game boss level vibes. You know, the instrumental feels very boss level slow creeping strings before a guitar flange that's kind of reminiscent of mac demarco's two project mac demarco dropped a project called number two uh, with some very dreamy guitar flanges and you know san pedro kind of gives me that same type of tone that same type of vibe and shout out to vince staples he has a cameo at the end of the song uh you know another guy from that san pedro long beach area you know it's, it's just a very los angeles type feeling track number two like honey you know this happens to be my least favorite song on the ep uh, but it still has some moments that i enjoy lyrically like honey it feels abstract sonically the song feels like the chase scene in an action movie so if this is an action movie like honey we throw that in, in between the police chase you know the action getaway scene there's a lot of good amount of reverb reverb on like honey also the bass provides an industrial feel Yet Kilo Kish's soft voice adds a dash of sensuality and dare I say sexuality to an otherwise flat feeling instrumental. Void, this is the track where I get heavy video game vibes. Um, and I get that vibe throughout all of Moth, but especially on this track. The winding siren feels like a page out of Lil Uzi's playbook. So when you go back to Money Longer or High Roller, that type of thing, you know, that type of vibe, that winding synth. Um, and I'm very interested in hearing Uzi over that over this Void beat, just because you know this is his bag. Void's pace and BPM increases with the song's sequence, and Kilo Kesh sets back in a soft echo pocket, allowing the beat to lead the song, and she kind of plays role number two. So the beat is in the instrumental is the leading part of Void, um, and it's the main focal part of Void. Kilo Kesh complements that with her soft echoes. Track number four, Alive. I feel like Killer Kish was entertainment Paula bag on this track. Heavy cosmic vibes, heavy reverb. They have a chant in that song saying, they only want, um, which takes me back to Tame Impala's Lonerism LP. And also the synth chords also take me back to Tame Impala. So Alive, very Tame Impala influence. And Killer Kish adds her signature accented diatribe that we were talking about earlier to the end of the track. Track number five, Elegance. And this is a track with a repeating chorus, easy repeatable lyrics, uh, and it feels anthemic. The song as a whole feels anthemic and it's screaming for a house remix. Void is, is kind of a song that's house influence. I would like to hear a house remix of Elegance too, track number five. The looping cowbell reminds me of one of the preset garage band <laughs> instrumental loops. Uh, and you know, but surprisingly, it contrasts well against the abrasion and shifting bass. The song is pretty bare bones lyrically, and Kilo Kish Sade whispers her way through most of the song, but she also deploys some rap sounding flows in verse one and two. Despite her whisper, you can still feel the track's anger. Uh, so I thought elegant, you know, a stronger track on this LP. And lastly, the outro prayer, perhaps the most lyrically commanding performance on this entire album from Kilo Kish, or EP I should say. She's clear, her words are cutting, and she's enhanced by more reverb. I feel like the reverb, the echo here on track number six works in her favor. It's a good song, but there's also a lot happening at the end of the track that kind of just makes it feel like too much is going on. Um, so total, I, I would say as a whole, my verdict on the Kilo Kish Moth EP you know, I feel like it's very good, especially for someone who's experimenting, who's going outside their normal styles, who's trying to, you know, a bunch of different sounds. Um, there's a few bland songs or, you know, minor flaws throughout, but I would like to hear this more drawn out or I would like to hear what else Kilo Kish has to say. As a whole, the Moth EP is an abstract offering from Kilo Kish, who appears to be experimenting with more abrasive bass and challenging BPMs. She also appears to be in a garage rock slash indie slash Kalela mood, judging by some of Moth's sonic similarities. As with Kilo Kish's other projects, I'm looking for her to stand out. For much of this EP, Kish is secondary to the production. Her voice gets lost in the production, except for on Prayer. And I've always viewed Kilo Kish's strength to be her voice. 
Her voice is very clear, very enunciated, very pronounced, and this is what makes her stand out. I'm looking for Killer Kiss to stand out lyrically or maybe even find a cadence or a flow pattern that she's comfortable with or even a certain production style where she can find her pocket. The cover artwork on Moth is abstract and non-coincidentally the EP as a whole feels abstract. A few short steps away from empty. So when we say things are abstract, we should really draw out what we say because abstract, it can mean it's you know very complex and artsy, but it could also mean it's a few short steps away from empty meaningless on moth ep kilo key shares up with lyrics about love but also lyrics about uncertainty and the project as a whole feels this way uncertain uncertain of direction however certain sound effects and use of bass gives this project a video game type theme providing some cohesivity despite lack of direction from the artists themselves. Am I the only one picking up the video game vibes on this Moth EP by Kilo Kish? I give it three and a half stars out of five. I have a lot to say about it, but you know, Kilo Kish is one of the more interesting artists, you know, so I'll continue to support her coming out of LA, fellow fellow LA native. So shout out to Kilo Kish, shout out to Vince Staples. It's top five rap website. This is a Moth EP review. Peace.